who I got now. I done made a lot of mistakes. Uh, that's my dude, that's my partner, that's my man. I know a lot of y'all just won't understand. That's my people, that's my dog, that's my boy. Just saying that give me so much joy. This is not the L word or the real L word. This is Boys, a journey into the world of aggressive black lesbians, otherwise known as studs. Their lives, loves, families, and world is revealed as we follow five friends who love other women and assume the more aggressive role in the relationship. They aren't men, even though some of them describe themselves as the woe man in the relationship. Some go as far as altering their appearance by tying down their breasts and donning dildos to simulate having a penis. They dress like men, they act like men, and yet they are women. There are categories and subcategories that confuse the average person who isn't part of this world. And yet to them, it is crystal clear. There are daddies and butches and studs and soft studs and thims and girly girls. For each of the friends, they are simply who they are. No apologies, no excuses, no doubt. Most of the time, I would go through life as Mr. or Sir. And it's funny because you got all this, and I got all this, and yet, when I get out of the car, the valets, thank you, sir. Um, when I go to the restaurant, thank you, sir. I'm usually in a shirt, maybe a, a jacket or something, and all they see is this. They see the ball head in here, and I guess it's pretty typical. Most people are walking through life, you know, a little unaware or like zombies. Sharian. She knew she was going to grow up and be a man when she was a little girl. Sporting a ball head and dressing in Timberlands, she is a contractor and takes pleasure in it when people address her as sir. My definition of a stud is uh, a, a female that has the mannerism of a, a male. As far as uh, the stud world, um, you know, we dress like a man sometimes, and then sometimes there's studs that wear lipstick. But uh, a, a stud is a, we take on the role as a male. Carol, picture if you can a five foot two inch tall godfather reincarnate who's a black woman. Born female, everything about Carol screams man. She is big mama to her wife, little mama, and raises her son with love and discipline. Dressed in three-piece suits, when she hits the town, she is a stylish character and garners respect within her world because she lives her truth. Are you a boy? I said, no, I'm a girl. I just like to dress in men's clothing and like to be comfortable. I'm just me. I'm Pam. I'm, I'm no, no, I'm nothing. I'm just like, I'm Pam. I'm not gay, I'm not lesbian, I'm not butch, I'm Pam. Pam. Pam is the best little brother anyone can have. Loyal, friendly, dedicated, kind. She always wanted to be a Boy Scout. Tanya, boy Tanya, Tony, boy toy. If you want to be with a man, I'm aggressive. I'll be with them. It's women like that. They don't want no, you know, boy, girl. They won't. And plus, that's how they carry themselves. You don't know how they is to bed. Boy Tanya. Complete with removable gold teeth and bling that consist of medallions the size of hubcaps. She is a self-proclaimed pimp. Ex-con tattooed over three-fourths of her body. She walks hard and often has people thinking she's a man. They do a double take when they pass her on the street. I have some women that say that I beat my women. I don't think I've ever done that. Women have to remember that we are still women. And if you hit me, I'm supposed to hit you back. You know what I'm saying? To really know me is to love me. If you don't know me, you may not like me. I'm tired of doing what mama told me to do. Mama told me to 
to get a boyfriend. Mama told me to get married. Mama told me to have a baby. I had the little uh, boyfriend at the age of uh, 17 told me that I need to go to my prom. I, I'm like, Mom, I don't need to go to my prom. You need to go to your prom. I ran to my sister. I said, hey, can you guys give me a date? Eventually, that guy and I were married and we had a child. Wow. Yeah, but he got hooked on drugs and I'm like, no, I can't do this with a baby. Do I want to be a man? Absolutely not. I love being a woman. I love feminine energy. And uh, male energy sometimes is a little disappointing to me. Aggressive, you know, uh, know how to make their woman feel good. Just, I mean, Doing, you're just like a man, but you're a woman, but you do men work, you take care of home. When I get home, just come in here and just kick it in my man cave. And be in here watching all my games up in here, this is what I do. And I just be in here cheering for my team, whoever's on or any sports. My wife be saying, you watch anything, any kind of sport. I said, that's what I do, I love basketball. And I kick everybody out if they don't like my sport, so. <laughs> my shoes, they have to be white. They, I got to have them sparkly. I can't have no dirty on, on my shoes. They got to be nice and white so it can be crisp when I put my clothes on. It'll be nice and clean with a nice white shirt. 